Theme Park 2 just updated and we got three new stalls and a ride. Yeah, that's 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 really it. But let's just get straight into this. So we are going to start with the new ride, the Jumper. Yes, we got a new intense ride and it actually looks pretty cool. These are normally rides you see at fun fairs and stuff like that. Maybe sometimes at like one of those parks that are like at the edge of the sea or at the water or at the lake. One of those board wall parks. But it looks very, very decent. Like all the balls again. Awesome ride. Um, yeah, let's, let's just test it and see how it goes. Of course, we're going to sit on the outer edge. And yeah, it, it's basically just rotating around and going up and down. There is not any sound for it. I've now enabled my sound. But the ride is not making any like pressure sound. So that's kind of sad. But yeah, it's, it's, it's basically this. This is the whole ride. Can be fun. Probably not really going to use it. But I guess it's it's an alright ride to be added to Theme Particle 2. Alright, let's continue. Alright, and for the next things, we got one new stall and two new remote stalls. We got the new pizza stall, which, yeah, it looks a lot like uh, Italy <laughs> with the colors. Um, again, I do love the detail on this, like this little pipe up here. The whole stove in the background with actually a pizza in there. That's just amazing detail, which you can't even see. So that's great. Then we also got the ice cream stall. I'm not sure what this one. I, I just don't like these colors here on top. Um, can you can you change these? Oh, you can change. Okay, that makes this stall already a bit better. See, these colors are already a bit better. But yes, we got a new ice cream stall, which now that you can actually change the colors, it's actually pretty cool. Can it also do with the pizza? Oh, you can also actually change all the colors of the pizza stall. That's pretty cool. And then probably my favorite thing in this update, balloons. Yes, we got a balloon stall. Look at it. We got balloons. This is like something I don't think we thought we really needed, but we actually need it. It's, it's really cool. You can actually also change the colors of the balloons and then they will be sold in that color. So let's make this one like orange. Let's make these maybe some sort of blue. And as you can see, the whole balloons also change, but like the color of everything. And the custom stall, of course, doesn't have any of these things. Same with, of course, the pizza stall and the ice creams. They are just like that. L let's see how actually the balloons look when there are players uh, holding them. Okay, I got now four different colors. Let's have a look if someone actually wants to buy some of my balloons. Ah, there we go. Are you going to buy balloons? Yes, there she goes. And she has bought uh, another balloon. Can you... You cannot pop them. Oh, what is this? But as you can see, they buy all different type of balloons. So this one is round. This one is more round. This is a star. So I think they can buy like a star, a heart, just a balloon shape and a round thing. Which is pretty cool. As you can see, they're all in different colors. And it's sad that you cannot pop them. Dennis, if you see this, add this. That will be like very cool. This adds so much more life to your guests. It, it, I, I just really, really like this. I didn't thought I needed this, but I do like it. All right. And if we then go to the change log, there are a few more changes. Let's have a look. The color picker now allows picking uh, a specific color from most items. Fun fact, this is actually... A thing that I have suggested to Dennis, which he actually added. So now you can just pick the color in the color picker. You can press Ctrl if you're on computer, and you can now just choose the color of the item, which is pretty nice. And for the last thing, the flying coaster for Seas Cross has now a animated seat. So let's have a look at that real quick. So I, what that means is that I think if I now like open or test the ride. So now these actually restraints open and close, which is actually pretty cool. So if I now test it, oh, they actually close. Oh, those are actually pretty nice. I do like that. But that's really it for this update. I know it might be very small with only one new ride and three new stalls, but I do think these things are needed to change. This is more an update for just a casual player who doesn't build Mega Park. Extremely cool stuff. Players that just play the game as a tycoon, that just want to build a path, place a stall, and they're done. They don't want to build a whole house around it. So I do think this is a good update. The only thing I would say is maybe like combine it with another, maybe co with it, or maybe like do them an update update like the stalls then a coaster update like stalls now we have got on two updates like this and no new coaster we got two new rides which they, they look awesome but i'm just probably never really going to use them but yeah th this is really the update maybe not what you expected what do you think of this update let me know in the comments i think it's all right but it's probably one of the worst updates we've gotten this year some of these things are just needed need to be redone and once they're done we will see what's going to happen and who knows maybe with them we're going to get cool new stuff but guys that's it for today i want to thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe on my channel so you don't miss any more of these type of videos of course i'm doing them when they come out thank you for watching and i will say as always goodbye